A concave makeup mirror is designed so that a person 30 centimeters in front of it sees an upright image magnified by a factor of 2. What is the radius of curvature of the mirror? So I'll start off with my mirror equation. You're going to see really quick that I'm going to have two unknown variables. 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 2 over R. Now what variables do I have? It says that the person in front of the mirror, so the object, or P, is equal to 30 centimeters. And it tells me that the magnification is 2x, so m equals 2. So I don't know what the radius is, which is what I need to find. And I also don't know what the object distance is, so I have to solve for that using the magnification. So I've got the magnification is equal to negative q over p, and I'll just solve for, for q, so I'll get q is equal to negative mp. Now I'll go ahead and solve for r before I plug in the 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 before I plug in my substitution right here. That way it'll be a little bit easier to see how I solve for r. So I, I'm going to find a like uh, a like denominator, common denominator. So I'll, just try, uh, I'll multiply this term by q over q, and I'll get that q over pq plus, and then I multiply this term by p over p, and I get p over pq equals 2 over r. Now I have a, a common denominator, so I can say that it's equal to q plus p over pq. I can combine the term. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take the inverse of both sides, so I get r over 2 is equal to pq over q plus p, and then we'll multiply both sides by 2, so I get r is equal to 2pq over p plus q. And you'll notice I flip-flopped the q and the p around, which I can do that because of the identity addition. 1 plus 2 equals 2 plus 1. Uh, so, and I did that also so I could have these on the same side, so I can show you the substitution a little bit easier. So r, I'm going to substitute in my equation for q, because I don't know what q is. r is equal to 2 times p times negative mp divided by p plus negative mp. Now, of course, you can just go ahead and solve right there, or you can simplify a little bit further by factoring out the p down here. So r is equal to 2, uh, we'll say p squared times, or we'll say negative 2 p squared times m. And, uh, and the, on the bottom, we have p times 1 minus m. And I can cancel out this p and this p, and I get that r is equal to negative 2 negative 2 p m over 1 minus m. Now you plug in those numbers, you should get that the radius is equal to uh, um, 120 centimeters. And the question asks for your answer in meters, so don't forget to convert to 1.2 meters. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.